Hello everybody, my name is Weefies and welcome back to another video. The Hermitcraft members do a great job of constructing entertaining videos for fans to enjoy and engage with. A community, a commonly used tactic by these players is making a storyline or mini plot collaboration. Today, we're going to be looking at the top 5 most engaging slash best plots of Hermitcraft Season 6. Let's get right into it. But before we do begin our list, I would just like to ask you to subscribe if you do enjoy the video. I would really, really appreciate it. It would mean the world to me. But let's get right into the video. I do hope you enjoy. Coming in at number 5 on our list is the Build War. What concluded a few months ago could have been the most impressive demonstration of build battle ever in Minecraft. Good times with Scar, Green, Mumbo, Iskal, and Rendog-ish all took part to create the most entertaining build-off I have ever witnessed. With new additions to build popping up each week, it was a thrilling competition until the end. Each builder added their own unique flair and made this event enjoyable for all who witnessed it. It also allowed the Hermits to demonstrate their incredible building talent to the viewers. Mumbo with his redstone rocket, Green with his dragon, Scar with Scara, and of course Iskal with a dabbing penguin. Overall this event was super fun to be a part of and I enjoyed watching all the members build these amazing builds. Number 4, Tag. This one was very close and I'm still not sure what I wanted to put in this spot, but here we go. I realize actually now that all of these events include Gurian, so fair play to him. Starting by Gurian, number 4 goes to Tag as I said. The big reason Tag came onto this list was because it was a fun idea and a server wide event. Almost all of the Hermits played Tag and got tagged at least once, and they each took it upon themselves to develop the game further, making Tag towers, dares, dioramas, and even trousers, and more. I don't have too much to say about the game of Tag and Hermitcraft, but while it lasted, it was definitely fun and made a huge impact in the community. Number 3. Area 77 and Time Traveler Villager Grian. One day, after participating in Storage Wars, Grian suddenly discovered that all of his diamonds were missing from his ender chest. Confused, he decided to continue playing on until one day when Villager Grian went missing from his house. Grian then got the idea to make a time machine to go back in time to the point where Villager Grian and his diamonds were stolen. Grian took a trip through time, visited the old districts, and chatted with past hermits, and then finally took Villager Grian and his diamonds back to the present. Sadly, he then realized that in fact it was himself that took his own diamonds and he was experiencing the odd effects of time travel and paradoxes and all that kind of stuff. I hate time travel, it's so confusing. This was not the end though, as Grant's time machine and villager were confiscated by Doc M77 and Scar with their new military base, Area 77. This momentous build was constructed diligently and well, including many gorgeous additions as well as the containment chambers that would house the anomalies. This inspired Ren and Grin to set up a hippie camp near Area 77, watching and biding their time to strike. This is a brief overview of the Area 77 Grian storyline. I could always make a documentary if you guys wanted, haha. <laughs> the reason this gets a number 3 spot is because of two factors. Number one, the constant enthusiasm and introduction of new ideas by the involved hermits are fabulous and it is very entertaining to see how this story unravels. And secondly, just the time travel a bit alone is the entire reason I actually decided to make this video. Korean had to have been planning that he was going to go back through time so he could record those clips from the quote past, which I find very admirable. He had to talk to those hermits before he even told us he was going to time travel. Unless of course, he actually time traveled. Number 2, Demise. Another event started by Grian, Demise gets the number 2 spot for the same reasons that Tag got the number 4 spot. The Demise story and event eventually began and took the whole server by storm. All the members and Hermitcraft community were hooked as well. All of the Hermits actively took part in Demise, making traps, memes, dares, and so much more. Diamonds were pitched in, and everyone was a good sport when they died, except for the winner of course. Oh, and if you don't know who won Demise, check out the video in the top right right now for an overview of the entire Demise saga by yours truly. With the intense trapping and overall great enthusiasm, which I cannot stress enough, from all of the Hermits, Demise was made into something so fun, racking up over 10 million views on YouTube from its total participants. The Dead Mansion was an incredible output of this event, and it was an amazing build with all the traps and decor written in the core, and so was Doc M trapping that ended the game. Overall, it was a fun and lovely as usual. And now for an honorable mention. These did not get into the video, but they are still good stories nonetheless. The first one is Poultry Man then Mustache Machine, The Hot Potato Game, and Duck Woman. But without further ado, here is the number one spot on our list. And if you are still here and watching the video, I would really appreciate it if you did subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And let's get right into number one. I don't know if you guys saw this coming, 
But number one, I think, earns the spot on this list. This was an event even bigger than Demise, a story for the ages and one not to be forgotten. Demise of the Mansion of the Dead, big deal, but monuments were built with this event. It will be remembered in countless videos, diss tracks, memes, and more. An event that lasted a month, had a great conclusion, and had over 30 million total viewers. The Hermitcraft Civil War Starting as a mere prank war through the Hermits, it evolved into two factions competing against each other for a wartime victory. The Capture the Flag event at the end was no exception to the fun and creativity displayed throughout the entire ordeal. It was obvious that most, if not all of the Hermits had fun during the war, and so much plot and good content were produced relating to it. Overall, I think that the Hermitcraft Civil War is undoubtedly the best storyline so far of Hermitcraft Season 6, because who knows, maybe by the time this video goes out there will be an even better one to, I to talk about. I don't know. Anyway, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is all I have for you today. Thank you ever so much for watching. It really, I really, really appreciate it. Consider subscribing if you did enjoy. I'll see you all next time. Peace out.